Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Make sure you watch the episode before watching this video because we will be giving details of the show. So make sure you watch the episode first. Hi, y'all. I'm Ivy. And I'm Yak. And welcome to another episode of Show Realm. In today's video, we're going to be giving y'all a couple thoughts about the season finale of Bel Air. Oh, yes. Jeffrey Thompson, house manager. Will! Oh, Bill! Ten years is a long time. Let me show you around. Where them dimes at? Hillary! Will! Let's go find you something fit for a prince. What do you think? I can't believe it's over. But y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so y'all know when we upload. But before we get started, make sure you got your drinks, y'all snacks, and relax your body. Clear your mind. Open your soul, forget everything you got going on at home, at work, that girl working on your nerves, that boy working on your nerves. Oh, that. Forget about it. And come by with us. Welcome to our room. All right, y'all. Now that we got our drinks, our snacks, let's get into this episode, the season finale of Bella. Oh yeah. How do you feel about this season? Did you think it was like a good season, like a good spinoff? Like, I thought it was straight. You know what I'm saying? I'm. That's one of my top three shows. That's so. why I had to ask you. I had to ask the Fresh Prince of Bel Air like fanatic. They came through. They came through. They. They was able to actually make it cool, mm -hmm. but still had a grittiness to yeah. it that you need to, like, keep. I mean, you got stuff like, all kind, you know, all the other shows that just, like, promoting super violence and everything like that. So, for them to slide that in there and then come back with some of the some of the incidents and some of the topics that they went over. Yeah, and I think they kept the characters relatively similar, just kind of like an update, because you know the world's different. Right. So they kind of just updated them, you know, like with Ashley or with Jazz and Hillary, you know. But I thought it was good. And Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. Jeffrey. I thought, she, okay. We like, he not the butler, he the hit man, but all of a sudden he goes shopping for groceries and, like, I never see him bringing no grocery. They look so out of place without him. Yeah, now. they do. And people just rolling up. And you know if Jeffrey was there, that would have not happened. Nah, not at all. He would have caught him probably at the, <laughs> at the gate. Right. doing well. I mean, Lou. <laughs> but before we get into all that, let's get into our first thought, which was what was our favorite moment? All right, y'all. So my favorite moment is probably not even about. It's about the show. But sure. you know how you was a Fresh Prince fanatic? I was right. a Wayne Brothers fanatic. So to I see know. Marlon. Lou. And to see him play that role. Of course, we've seen him tap into that side of him. But I'm like, his whole voice different. Like, I, I thought he did a very good job. And when he popped up. And, you know, Ooh. Phil answered the door because, y'all, he called it. He was like, it's Lou. It's Lou. I'm like, how you know it's Lou? What's Lou doing pulling up? He's like, it's Lou. So when he answered, Phil answered the door, and he was like, like, Lou, what you doing here, basically? And then they panned it, and it was Marlon. I'm like, yo! So that was kind of my favorite moment was just seeing Marlon act that role and do it like we know he can, you know? So let me get on him then because my favorite moment. So you're getting on Lou. You're not getting on Marlon, right? Nah, we he did a fine job. We ain't, we gonna stay away from him. But Lou, <laughs> when Will confronted him, I like how Will was like. Mom said you was always trying to find an angle, scheming and shit. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, she would put it all on me, like you know, cause she never does no wrong. Truth is, 
She's the one that put the pressure on me to hustle. Hmm. So it was her idea to rob and beat that old man half to death. I'm gonna get you over here, tap dance with me a little bit, and then I'm gonna slide back and see what you really be thinking. Yeah. He lured him in kind of nice, and then he kept his composure. So when he got to the part when it was about his mom's, he was like, he was kind of giving him them trap questions. Yeah. So and like, just to get that real emotion out. Yeah. And when he got that real emotion out. Will kept his composure, but Lou didn't. He played into what um, Viv said he was. Exactly. Unpredictable. Like, he didn't keep his composure at all. Exactly. And you should have known that Will was going to come with some anger, some hostility. He, he put it all in a ball, 13. though. He yeah. gave him the anger at the beginning. Then he drew him in. Oh, yeah, let's talk about when you snuck me in the Sixers game. Mm -hmm. The whole time when he listening to him tell the story, I'm sitting there looking at him like, you scalped the tickets. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got your mans to get you back there. I'm like, Lou, this story right here, maybe you should have held back that one because that's the one that probably had Will like, oh, yeah. So what my mama's saying, like, yeah. you, you, you do all this. And then going off of his mama, like, just not a good move. You know? Not at all. But yeah, I like that how Will handled that whole situation. He got him to show his true colors. Yeah. So that brings us to our second thought. And that's the biggest threat. My biggest threat is Will's anger. Hey, talking ain't done no good today, man. Will? Yo, Will! Will, stop! Where are you going? Stop! Will! Hey, listen, man, just hold up a second. Yo, don't leave. Wait, man, I'm not staying here another night. Like, he didn't, he like not even in his right head. Yeah. He listening to everything, like, in his head saying, like, you lied to me, you lied to me, you lied to me. So all these things coming up, and he like, I can't trust none of y'all. Mm -hmm. But the whole time, he just rolled out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And then he called Jazz, and I'm like, Okay, there's your voice of reason. He's always been your voice of reason. Yeah. So, he ain't like trying to hear that. So, I'm like, his anger gonna make him do something he not want to do. He just needs to cool down and really think. He definitely has a right to be angry. But, you know, he gotta be able to kind of calm himself down and think through that. And I think Jazz was doing that for him. So, you think he gonna stay? I don't. So that leads Ashley into my biggest threat, which is his decision. It's done. It's over. You told me that the city would try to make me forget who I am and where I come from. And you were right. To even leave in the first place? His decision on what, what he's going to do. Oh, the biggest threat. Because you're saying, oh, yeah, because if he go back to Philly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So at this moment, everything them blew up. We've seen the transformation of Will throughout this show. We've seen him leave from Philly, get into a better position, help other people get into better positions. We've seen him step out of himself more. You know, he's helping Carlton. He's doing a lot of stuff. I feel like he's finding his place. But the dad thing is something that he had to confront. He had to do it. I feel like he did. Yeah, and he definitely confronted him, but now it's got him in this space to where it's affecting who he believes he is. You know what I'm saying? What I don't understand about that is your dad just showed you your true colors, right? Mm -hmm. They've been trying to keep you away from that that whole time, right? Mm -hmm. If he was just a perfect dad, I could see the anger yeah. with the banks. Right. I can see it. Because he would be like, this guy is nothing like what y'all thought. Or people mm -hmm. change. You know what I'm saying? He already has seen the little second chance he got. So he like, people change. Because that's what he was trying to tell him at first. Mm -hmm. But So they just showed him that like, this right here, this is what we was trying to st stop you from going through. Yeah, but I think he was so mad on the point that they lied and said that he left him when he really was in prison. Yeah, but... I think that it was more on that point. Maybe because it was the way that he was acting. So, they was like... I just don't understand how he, like, can't see that. 
But I feel like I'm scared that he's going to do the same thing too. I think he's going to go back to Philly thinking it's all good. And nah. and the last thing he was in Philly, he was the laughing stock of, of Philly. Yeah, so. that's what I'm saying. He had to address this, and it's painful. But it had to be done. I don't feel like you need to regress and go back to Philly. When you've been progressing so much in Bel Air, you just had to confront that part of your past. You know what I'm saying? You had to get through that. You had to. Maybe they shouldn't have lied about him going to prison. Maybe they should just been upfront with him. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, he is in prison. But at the same time, this is what type of person he is. You know what I'm saying? But, so yeah, but they kind of probably was like, when is the right time to tell him? Yeah, because they lied because, for so long. But then that three years came. And, like, that means he was, like, what, 14? So, he 14, Lute and got out. Mm -hmm. And they don't tell him. Nobody tells him anything. But Lou don't do the right thing. Exactly. He don't so come it's on that him way. Too. So. so, this goes into our next thought, which is, who made the biggest mistake? Well, mine was, like, the same thing I was saying before about Will just leaving. Look, Carlton, Ashley. Hillary. I love you all. But I gotta do what's right for me. Yeah. It was his anger that was a threat to him, but then him just leaving in the first place. But he needed some space. You gotta understand, he just confronted his father. You know what I'm saying? All that just happened. And then he just finding out, he just f reading the paperwork. He just finding out about Jeffrey. He just finding out that Phil been lying to him. Phil and Viv been lying to him. He just needed some space, you know? Sometimes all of that, like, you just need some space. I don't think he should officially leave but i could understand him just getting out of that for that moment just he usually gonna have time to kind of think to himself that's a good way of looking at it but i do think it'll be a mistake for him to leave bel-air yeah but he kind of should have just well i guess you need time you need space yeah because there was all up on him you know what i'm saying like damn give him some room to breathe it was nice for carlton to slide him some money though yeah for real because he was gonna yeah. be out there Dolo. Yep. So my biggest mistake is Phil lying. Dad. Mm. How come Jeffrey isn't returning our calls? No idea. Hopefully we'll hear back soon. Why are you lying like that? It's like a you habit ain't a, now. You ain't a politician no more. Like why are you lying? He be on it. Right. He is he get he get choice with something quick. And then Carlton gonna come up to him, ask him what happened to Jeffrey. And look at him in his eye and you can feel that like everyone know feel like what you gonna say. Exactly. I just don't go know. ahead and just just Make it as clean as you can, like exactly. you always do. I don't know if there's a disconnect, but if somebody asking you something in a manner that he asked you, he know the answer. He just want to see if you're going to tell him, Phil. I don't know if you knew that or not, if you just been disconnected because you'd be on your little campaign trail. But that's normally what that means. And he asked him straight up, like, what happened with Jeffrey? And then in the middle of all this going on, what would make him want to ask about Jeffrey if he don't know what happened to Jeffrey? And then he's going to straight up lie. That is just, and then Ashley gotta be, we know what happened to Jeffrey. <laughs> yeah, Ashley, like, we come on. know you lined that, that little small thing. And Carson did you see him? Like, did you see him? Yeah. Like, Carson, like, you can't even tell the truth about that. Like, you were lying. Like, why you lie? I don't know, Phil. You doing too much. Yeah. I don't know how he gonna squiggle out of this one. And it was just like, oh my God. All you have to say was that you fired him. Like, they know. It, exactly. I thought he was going to just give him the old politically correct thing. We had differences. You know, yeah, me too. And, you know what I'm saying? We just didn't want to disrupt the family. Yeah. I just I, I knew the whole speech was coming. I was like, okay, he about to spin this real good. Even Viv was looking like. <laughs> so when he didn't spin it. I was and, thinking. Then, and then we seen the old Carlton. His yeah. pout himself. He came back with the pout. Storming like, and stuff. I was I like, I see okay. why I was mad. You lying. You be lying too much, boy. What you got? Oh, you told me. All 
right y'all so this goes into our final thoughts how we felt about this season finale what about Carlton showing up to Lisa's and making it was all in, about him? It was, yeah, it was, he was a little distraught, but it was just like, boy, calm down. He come over there and talk about something. He's gone and he's doing this. He, and, and he was always there for me and I need him. <laughs> he wanted a hug. Lisa over there like, he stood me up. God, God, Lisa, I'm about tired of you. I'm about tired of you, Lisa. Yeah, he stood you up, but as soon as you would have saw Carlton there, like he ran away, I would have been like, oh, dang, like he ran away. Oh, he ran away, but he left me at the coffee bar. Meanwhile, he up in there. Yeah, girl. Then when she find out, oh my God. Yeah, okay. And then, so I guess on a serious note, it's like what we were saying before. Like, where does he go from here? I got a sneaky suspicion he want to go back until something arrives out there he don't want to see and he come back. I, I think like that's he, what's going to end up happening. I feel like going back is running. I feel like he'll be running. Because why you I feel like he running from what happened there. But I could understand. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be like, in his eyes, I'm just thinking that from his point of view, I don't think he feel like he's running. He would be, I'm closing that chapter. I'm going to show, I think if he was like on a reasonable mind, if he ain't just flooded with anger and just want to leave and, and pout and all that, but if he on a reasonable mind, he basically like, I can go back. I might not have the same opportunities, but like my mama say, I got to wear this crown wherever yeah. I'm at. So I'm going to go back here, shine. And I'm going to make it all right on everybody. I'm basically... Because that's kind of like the attitude he be having. Like when he yeah. was having all the problems at the beginning. His whole thing was... After he finally got his head straight. Y'all ain't just going to run me out. So I, I got guess, pride. So I guess it felt like coming to Bel Air was running. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So he would look at it like that. That's a good one. So yeah. um, That's a lot on Will. You know, him and Carlton. We've seen they got close over the season which was nice to see um hillary with karuchi's character i'm sorry i'm gonna have to say the actor's name because i don't remember the name of karuchi's character i don't remember either but you know them trying to set up i think it would be nice for them to set up like girl empowerment you Do know you trust her i don't know because she kind of was like you just want me to uh, buy you out your contract and stuff so, so in a way it kind of makes them looking at hillary like you kind of using me you know what i'm saying yeah but she like went over the top yeah so prepare to take over the house. Yeah. So, I was looking at it like that at first because how like she was standoffish, but she in real she in real need, mm. and she know that Hillary kind of got like yeah. got it going on when it come to image and all that. She know, like regardless of what happens, she know exactly like what what her value is. Yeah, and just how much it's gonna co cost to buy that man out? Cause I think it's gonna be. A pretty penny to buy, oh, yeah, to buy the whole house. To buy my all, oh, yeah. So, I don't think I don't know how they can spend that one. I yeah. don't see him selling that house. Yeah, I don't see him selling. Yeah, but we'll see on next season. But all right, y'all. That's all we have for this episode, and that's all we have for season one of Bel Air. What y'all thought about this season? What are y'all looking for the most to next season? Let us know down below in the comments. And yeah, I guess we just have to wait on season two. Hopefully, we get a season two. I think they'll renew. Oh, yeah. I it think they're be. definitely going to renew that. Good. They have to. I think it was a definitely a strong season. So, so come back and get this fire content.